Hi guys, my name is Enrique Gabina and this is officially interesting football facts. Here we talk about football in an unbiased way, officially, about international football, about Brazilian football, and even sometimes about the Premier League. So let's get started. Today we're gonna focus on international football, specifically on La Roja, Spain. Let's talk about their journey of going from losing a golden generation to now European champions once again. But before we get started, do you see the button? Yeah, the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button because after you click the subscribe button, you're gonna be a new subscriber to interesting football facts. So without further ado, let's begin. In 2014, Spain shocked the world by getting out in the group stages of the World Cup. It was clearly that Tiki Taka was gone. After the 2014 World Cup, a lot of their key players from the 2010 squad retired from the national team. In 2016, Spain's performance in the Euros was not great, as they finished in second in the group and then got out in the round of 16 to Italy. In the 2018 World Cup, Spain did perform better than what they did in the 2014 World Cup, but got out in the round of 16 to Russia. In the 2021 Euros that was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Spain had a very different team with younger players such as Pedri, Laporte, Rodri, Dani Olmo and Ferran Torres. In that Euro, Spain finished in second in their group and then defeated Croatia in the round of 16 and then Switzerland in the quarterfinals. But in the semifinals, Spain lost to Italy on penalties. In the 2022 World Cup, Spain was knocked out in the round of 16 once again to an underdog nation and once again on the penalties, but this time by Morocco. Before the 2022 World Cup, Spain topped their group in the UEFA Nations League. But the Nations League being the way it is, the semifinals was only gonna happen in the year of 2023. Before the 2023 season started, a few things changed for the Spanish national team. The first thing was that coach Luis Enrique was sacked after a disappointing performance in the 2022 World Cup. And Sergio Busquets, another player from the golden generation of Spain, retired from the national team. Luis de la Fuente became the new manager for Spain. He already had a good reputation with the Spanish national team as he won the under-19 Euros in 2015, the under-21 Euros in 2019, and led Spain to a silver medal in the 2021 Olympics. In the semifinals of the Nations League, Spain defeated Italy by 2-1. Spain were once again in the finals of the Nations League this time against Croatia. The game ended in 0-0. Once again, Spain had to decide their fate on penalty shootouts. But this time, Unai Simon saved two penalties and Dani Carvajal scored the winning penalty. Spain were back to being champions. After taking a piece of silverware once again, Spain had another Chico, or maybe today we can say the cherry on top of the squad the 16 years old Lamin Yamal. Before the 2024 Euros, Spain were amongst the favorites, but they weren't exactly the number one favorites to win the Euros. The international friendlies also didn't show that Spain were the number one favorites, as they lost Colombia by one nail and tie against Brazil. However, in the first game, Spain showed why they were the favorites as they demolished Croatia by 3-0. In a group with Italy, Croatia and Albania, Spain finished on top without conceding a single goal. In the round of 16, Spain defeated the underdogs Georgia. In the quarterfinals, Spain was going to face the host of the tournament, Germany. During the game, Dani Olmo scored the first goal for Spain, but Florian Wurtz tied the game for Germany. The game was about to go to the penalties once again for Spain, but Mikel Merino scored the second goal for Spain, making the score 2-1. In the semifinals, Spain was going to face another favorites of the tournament, France. During the game, Colomani opened the scoreboard for France, but Lamine Lemal, the wonder kid, tied the game with an absolute banger, and Dani Olmo scored the second goal for Spain making the score 2-1. In the 
Spain were once again in the final of the Euros, this time against England. During the game, Spain opened the scoreboard with Nico Williams. But when we thought that Spanish players were going to enjoy their summertime, winter came when Cole Palmer tied the game for England. However, there was someone on the bench of Spain designated to score the winning goal, and this someone was Mikel Oyazerbal, who scored the second goal for La Roja. The game was over, with Spain winning their fourth European title. This marks the beginning of a new victorious era for Spanish football, and also the beginning of a new generation of young talent for Spain that could, much like in 2010, win the world for Spain again. Music